Hi, I'm Russ Belberona with Bounty Hunter Metal Detectors, and today I'm here to talk to you about the Discovery 3300. The Discovery 3300 is a lightweight, well-balanced machine that's fun and easy to use, yet loaded with professional level features. The Discovery 3300 runs off of two 9-volt batteries and has a completely submersible search coil. The 3300 is also fully adjustable for use by adults as well as children. It has a five-year warranty and made right here in the USA. Let's take a closer look at its features. Let's take a look at the nomenclature for the Discovery 3300. The control box is the brain of this machine. It also contains a battery compartment and is equipped with a quarter-inch headphone jack. Take care to keep the control box out of water if you intend on hunting in wet environments. The Discovery 3300 has two rods, an S rod for comfortable hand and arm position and a lower rod. To ensure a secure fit of the two rods, the Discovery 3300 is equipped with a locking collar and internal cam lock. The Discovery 3300's armrest is adjustable for comfortable use for most any individual. The search coil is fully submersible for shallow water hunting. Press the power touchpad. The detector will beep four times, and all display segments will illuminate momentarily. The sensitivity on the left and battery on the right indicators will stay illuminated. The sensitivity bar is also the coin depth indicator. The default setting for sensitivity is four bars. At this setting, the detector will detect a coin-sized object, such as a quarter, buried approximately seven inches deep. To change the sensitivity level, and thus the detection depth, press the sensitivity up or down touch pads. Keep in mind that at higher sensitivity levels, the detector is susceptible to electromagnetic interference from electronic devices. Reduce sensitivity if the detector emits false signals or acts erratically. The Discovery 3300 defaults to all metal mode after power-up. The probable depth of all types of metals will be detected. An object's probable identification is indicated by the arrows at the top of the display, as well as a numerical target ID that corresponds with the arrow. In addition, the probable depth of coin-sized objects is indicated by the rectangular segment indicators on the left side of the display. Pressing this touchpad will cause the detector to toggle between the two operating modes, discrimination and all metal. If the detector is in the all metal mode, the default mode, pressing the touchpad will change the detector in discrimination mode and vice versa. As in all metal mode, discrimination mode will tell you an object's probable identification indicated by the arrows at the top of the display, as well as a numerical target ID that corresponds with the arrow. In addition, the probable depth of coin-sized objects is indicated by the rectangular segment indicators on the left side of the display. Discrimination is used to eliminate unwanted objects from detection. To enter this mode from all metal mode, press the discrimination all metal touchpad. After pressing the touchpad, the detector will beep twice and display three R's under the leftmost segments, iron one, two, and three. To increase the level of discrimination, press the discrimination up touchpad. Each time the up pad is depressed, an additional R will appear, thus eliminating from detection the objects which fall into those categories. To decrease the level of discrimination, press the discrimination down touchpad. Each time the down pad is depressed, an illuminated R will disappear thus returning to detection the objects which fall into the corresponding categories. Discrimination mode is a fixed start point elimination system that runs linear from left to right, resulting in all categories left of the current eliminated category to also be eliminated, which brings us to notch mode. The notch touchpad causes the status of an R or rejected segment to toggle between on and off. Press notch. A flashing R will appear under the iron segment. Press the discrimination up touchpad several times. Notice that the R moves upon each press of the discrimination up touchpad. 
press notch again, the flashing R will become permanently illuminated, while objects that fall into target categories to the left of the rejected category remain detectable. You can always return a notched out target category by pressing the notch button and move the flashing R with the discrimination touchpad over the permanently illuminated R. Press notch again and the R will disappear, once again allowing the detection of that category. Zap is basically a quick way of notching out a known target. The zap control is easy to use in the field and is very useful when you are detecting and encounter an object which you wish to eliminate from detection. Simply press the zap touchpad after detecting the object as the zap control eliminates the most recently detected object category from detection. Just like in notching, the category eliminated is indicated with an R. Let's demonstrate the zap control. Let's say you just detected a pull tab and you don't want to dig those anymore. Press the zap and an R appears under the segment to be eliminated. The undesirable object, which in this case happens to be a pull tab, is eliminated from detection. As a side note, you can only zap objects that register between iron and zinc. At any time during operation, press the pinpoint touchpad and the detector enters the no motion mode. In the pinpoint mode, an object in the coil's detection field will induce a monotone hum. The location of a coin-sized object can be discerned with pinpoint accuracy as it will induce a tone only when it falls within the inner circle of the search coil. Pass the coil slowly over and around the target and you will quickly see the target's exact location. Let's take a few seconds to talk about audio target identification. The Discovery 3300 is a four-tone detector. While the LCD is very accurate in identifying buried objects, you may not always maintain the display screen in your field of vision while hunting in the field. Therefore, Bounty Hunter has incorporated an audio feedback mechanism to alert the user to the nature of buried objects. The audio feedback system not only alerts the user to the presence of a metal object, but also to the probable classification of the object by assigning one of the four tones to that object. The four tones are a bass tone for ferrous objects such as iron and steel. Keep in mind that the smallest gold objects will also induce a bass tone. A low tone for pull tabs, nickels, and smaller gold. A medium tone for zinc pennies, large gold objects, small brass objects, and most bottle screw caps. High tone for silver and most coins. The depth indicator is indicated in inches and is calibrated for coin-sized objects. Large and irregularly shaped objects will yield less reliable depth readings. When passing over an object, the depth indicator will light up and stay illuminated until another object is scanned. It is necessary to ground balance your detector. This ground balancing adjustment offsets the effects of minerals and salts in the ground. To ground balance your detector, use the all metal mode to find a patch of ground which is free of metal objects. The presence of any metal objects in this area will interfere with this procedure. Begin with the ground balance knob in the preset position. Press the pinpoint button. Lower the search coil to the ground about a half inch above the surface. If the detector emits sound while the search coil is a half inch over the ground, further adjustment is necessary. If the detector remains silent with the search coil a half inch over the ground, no further adjustment is necessary. The detector is now ground balanced. You are searching for the ground balance knob position where the detector is just silent. It is important to move the knob in small increments in order to find the first setting at which the detector remains silent. When swinging the coil, be careful to keep it level with the ground, about one inch from the surface. Never swing the coil like a pendulum. So hit the trails with your bounty hunter metal detector and go collect your bounty.